Hi there, it's a brand new month. And it's time for me to talk about um, what I read in February, give you an update on some of my challenges and break one of my rules and actually talk about what I plan to read this month. I've been avoiding that for a long time because in the past, when I've talked about what I'm currently reading or what I plan to read, it's never come, th come going through. <laughs> so, um, but I'm gonna just, you know, making some of that stuff. So the first thing I wanna talk about is my Goodreads challenge. Uh, I, I have read uh, 14 titles so far, and I'm gonna explain that, you know, that I say titles instead of books because I'm not reading novel length things all the time. I am very varied in the things that I read. So of uh, 14 books so far, I'm five books, according to Goodreads, five titles ahead of my schedule. That's 14 out of 60. That's 23% of my Goodreads challenge already in the bag. Before I get into what I read in February, I wanted to mention um, what I'm reading right now. Just very briefly, you're going to hear more about it in the next video, obviously, because I'm currently reading it. But um, I actually started a book at the end of February. I really was trying to wait until March to read it, but I just couldn't wait. So I started reading it. And that is the Oracle of Ghosts. Um, that is part of the Ghostwriter series by J.H. Moncrieff. And um, so far I'm loving it. And um, I'm so excited that she has agreed to um, let me interview her on my new show. So that's kind of what prompted all of this. So anyway, I've also been reading an ongoing daily devotional that's for the whole year. So um, there won't be really anything on that until I finish it at the end of the year. It's actually one that I've read before. I'm just kind of rereading it because um, I liked it the first time. It's called Cling to God, a daily devotional. So that's what I'm currently reading. Um, however, um, I do have other things that I want to read in the month of March. Um, but I'm not going to get into all of that right now. Just know that every month I read two selections from the IWSG book club. One of them, I believe, is novel length, but one of them is also a short story. So it shouldn't be too difficult to squeeze those in. Um, the other thing that I want to try to get in for the month of March is my selection for the Read with Faye challenge. So <laughs> what that is, um, Chris Faye, um, author, blogger, and um, I think she, I had I had previously said she was an activist, but she calls herself an ally. She basically just is very supportive of people. Anyway, so she created this challenge um, for people who are writers or creatives of any kind to read something to help hone their skills or, you know, build their creativity or something like that. So aside from just reading fiction, if that's what you predominantly read, which that's what I predominantly read, it encourages you to read other things um, to help with your craft, something nonfiction. You could also read something fiction if that served the purpose of specifically helping you with your craft. And so I read something in January for it. I read something in February for it. And in March, I'm planning to read Light the Dark. And this is a collection of from multiple um, authors about their different creativities and inspirations and things like that. So this is a little bit different than what I would normally read for nonfiction, but I'm very excited about it. So now let's look at what I read in February. So remember, this is just kind of a rundown. I will be doing my reviews in another video that's a longer video. So the first thing I read was the Black Stars series. So let me explain this real quick. Black Stars is a series from Amazon Singles. So each of the stories in the series are short stories. So think of what would normally appear in an anthology. These appear as individual stories. And so I think each story is like $1.99. I think you get like a little bit of discount if you buy them all at once. Um, I bought them when they were on sale. So I don't really remember if I paid that price. But um, most of the stories in the series are just so good they're worth the dollar 99 each like dollar 99 is not a lot to pay for an ebook if you're challenging yourself about paying that much for an ebook buy the whole collection i do think you get a little bit of discount anyway so each of these is a short story not a, a book um novel and book or anything like that so i'm just going to go through them real quick so the first one in the series was called the visit 
I ended up giving it five stars. You'll hear more about it in my review. Um, please pay attention to these um, book cover images because they are just so beautiful. I mean, just looking at the collection is pretty fun. So, <laughs> all right, let's look at the next book in the series, which is Black Pages. I ended up giving this one an overall star rating of four. Again, stunning cover, more uh, in the review video. The next in the series, um, this one is hard for me to say, it's 2043, A Merman I Should Turn to Be. 2023, A Merman I Should Turn to Be. So that title is a little, 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 little. <laughs> I ended up giving this one an overall star rating of three. Of course, my review explains more. Um, good concept, but um, read the review if you want to know more. I mean, watch the review. <laughs> uh, let's see. The next one in the series was These Alien Skies. I ended up giving this one a five star overrating. This one was my favorite of the series. Uh, let's see here. The next one is Clap Back ended up giving this one an overall star rating of four. This one was probably the more challenging story of the series. Um, I do suggest people um, read my review for this one. Um, I definitely think it's worth reading, but it might not be for everyone. Uh, let's see. And then the last book or story in the series is We Travel the Spaceways. Unfortunately, I did give this one a two star but maybe not for the reasons you think. Um, again, check out the review if you wanna know more. Like I said, overall, I am glad that I read all six of these stories. Like I'm glad I had that experience. Um, I kind of sometimes think when I'm you know, rating these books, like would I go back and reread that? I don't reread a lot of books, but sometimes I do, but I always have the mentality, is this something that I could sit down and reread if I, you know, if I had to, if I, no more books were in the world and I'm going to reread things. And so that's pretty much what I'm thinking of a lot of times when I'm giving these ratings. And I don't think the last story in this series is something that I would ever reread, but I am glad that I read it at least once. All right, uh, let's keep it moving. The next thing I read was one of my IWSG book club books for the month of February, and it was Champion in the Darkness, and I ended up giving it an overall star rating of four. The next book was Lori Circle of Friends. This was also an IWSG book club book. Um, and something a little unusual about this one is I didn't finish it, and it's not like me to not finish something, but um, I'm not going to you know, lie to you that this one wasn't kind of a challenging read for me. Um, typically, if I don't finish a book, I give it a two-star rating and I kind of go on with it, but that's usually when I know for sure that I'm not going to finish it. This one, I'm not sure. I might go back and finish it. I might not. I don't know. So I don't want to rate it right now, and if, and when I you know do my review, it'll explain that, but I did want it to be counted towards my Goodreads challenge because I, I read a pretty good chunk of it. So let's keep it moving. And then the last thing that I read, this was the book that I selected for the Read with Faye challenge. This is the business of short stories, writing, submitting, publishing, and marketing. I ended up giving it an overall star rating of five. So definitely check out the review on that one. And so that is what I read in February. That is how I'm doing on my Goodreads challenge and my other challenge. Um, I keep th still thinking that I want to try to do some other challenge this year, but it's only March, so I have time to maybe try to do something else. But if not, I think I have a pretty, I think I have enough on my plate. So with that said, um, please um, stick around. If you're into the reviews, it is a longer video where I break down the books. Um, check that out. Otherwise, guys, I uh, hope you are staying safe out there. I hope you're having fun reading and I'll see you next time.